In this patient's mandible, his lower jaw, there was adequate bone for us to place conventional dental implants. Accordingly, we decided to place four Nobel Active implants. This too was done as a guided surgical procedure. Prior to the patient's surgery, a CT facial bone scan or a cone beam CT scan needs to be undertaken and intraoral scans are also performed. At the time of the surgery, a full thickness mucoperiosteal flap is raised, again with a midline relieving incision and two distal relieving incisions. As this was a guided surgery, we had a cutting guide available to us. The cutting guide is seated and the alveolectomy performed. This can be done either with the WNH piezomed or with a large round burr attached to a WNH S11 handpiece. After bone reduction, the surgical guide is removed and the implants themselves inserted using the WI75 handpiece. This is a 20 to 1 reduction handpiece produced by WNH. The insertion torque of the implants can be adjusted on the implant main module. The ideal insertion torque for these implants is between 35 to 40 newton centimetres up to 70 newton centimetres. The final placement of the implants is performed using the torque wrench. After the implants are seated, multi-unit healing abutments are inserted. For the two axial implants, straight multi-unit abutments are inserted and hand tightened using the torque wrench to 35 newton centimetres. For the angled implants, in the posterior mandible, either 17.5 degree or 30 degree multi-unit abutments are selected and inserted. These can be tightened to 15 newton centimetres using the WNH WI75 handpiece. After insertion of the multi-units, before closing, healing caps are placed on the multi-unit abutments and hand tightened. The mucoperiosteal flap is then closed in a tension-free fashion using 4O monocryl sutures. At this point, if a prosthodontist or restoring dentist is present, scan fags can be placed and intraoral scans taken and sent to the laboratory.